Uh, I see one actually, it's pretty uncommon. Which one? I don't know. Game Boy? No. I got I this huge trade worked out with my buddy Scott. I mean, I'd love to have it, but if this part of your trade, I'm not going to interfere. We're using the app just to trade on even terms. It's all being made up here today with this trade that's about to go down. Like I never heard that one. Oh my god, I'm short, guys. No, it's that's new to me. Trade. Screw it, let's do it. Let's make some game-chasing history. Definitely don't have Adventure Island too, even though it looks like Jesus, Billy. What did you do? With this game? Hey, hey, that's a chunk. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a little rough wow. for my collection. So here we are at the hotel. We are literally right across the street from the convention center where Com Bravo is going to be held. I am moments away from making the biggest trade I have ever made for one of the best games out there on the NES, and one game I have wanted for so long. Why don't you look these over quick, and why don't you give me what you think? a fair value is, and then I'll kind of just go over it too and see if I agree. Or, or why don't we just do it a game at a time? And okay. I've got this huge trade worked out with my buddy Scott. Basically, between yeah, phone sex, cool. Jay and I worked this deal out. Why don't you give this to me, man? Because I need it. Oil up and hit the gym with me. I can smell it in the room. It's calling me. It's about to be mine. It's about to go down. But before that, Let's flash back to yesterday and see what went down then, because uh, suspense, mofos. Hey, you never seen nobody put a cop scene and have a poop right in their mouth? The game's hard anyways. Watch this, though. You know what that means? Fuck you. I'm sorry, my quarter's up there. <laughs> we woke up from Jamie's place. Jamie gave me a Superman on NES, which was a good because I need that game. Uh, I like getting shit I don't have. Stuff I don't have. Keep you from having to bleep it. You want that one? Yeah. I do. Sure, Billy got himself a little Turbo Graphics 16 Bonks. Bonk. Bonks Adventure. Bonk. Uh, what the f was the game? Gave me a Bonks Revenge on the Turbo Graphics 16. So I can scratch another game off my Turbo Graphics list um, and one of the better ones on the system, which is really cool. I wanted to kind of give them. Give them some hospitality as a Canadian. Did you guys still want the uh, turbo graphics? I can go lower on it. It's not really a business to me. Yeah. I was doing it for a collection, and I do it to get like you know collector friends, and I help them out. So if you want to do forty bucks on it, you'll have a turbo graphics sixteen. It was thanks to him that uh, I was able to pick up a turbo graphics system, complete system, everything in it, for forty dollars. You have felonies. Later on, we ended up going to The Gauntlet. It's a comic book store. And didn't really find much there. What the heck, how come I can't attack? Cause you suck. So there's a mall we're heading to right now that has a game store in it. Let's see what we can find. We're gonna be meeting up with Stalker Scott. He only lives like an hour away in Buffalo. And he's, I hate to admit it, but become a pretty good friend of ours. <laughs> yeah, they're making fun of us for our accent. They thought I sounded like you guys. Now they see the difference. Yeah. I already don't like them. <laughs> this Great. is Scott we've been talking Scott. about. Jared. First of all, he needs to turn down the New York a notch or two. So we're at a local mall here in Hamilton. We're at a game store called Video Games Plus, or VGP. Uh, I see one, actually. It's pretty uncommon. Which one? Oh, I don't know. Game Boy? No. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take a look at this RoboCop 3? Uh, the, the one inside the NES? Yeah. For the NES? Yeah, sure. RoboCop 3 in the box. Thank you. Yeah. It's marked for $25. I do not have it. And um, you don't really see this game out um, too often, uh, especially complete. Two bucks. Would you do two bucks on this? <laughs> two bucks. 
No, in all seriousness, would you do 20? Yeah. You do 20 on that? Yeah. Awesome. That's, yeah. You know what? I, I haggle at pretty much every game store I go to because you don't know um, if they're set on the prices or they're not. Some are, some aren't. Actually, can you throw this on there? I was like, well, I rang it through, but that's four dollars. Okay, never mind. Pay for my game. Then, then I wouldn't. What? Pay for my game. I'm not paying for your game, Eric. So now I have RoboCop 3 in the box, complete on NES. That's awesome. Um, a huge RoboCop fan. RoboCop 1 on NES is okay. Um, RoboCop 2, I, I like a lot more. A lot of people diss on that game. Never played 3, so I can't wait to check it out. I was like, I knew I had to have it. <laughs> Is it as bad as the movie? I can't believe those guys hooked you up, dude, with friggin' $50 for Sculper's Cut. I know. It's just crazy. And that game is so horrible. So, so bad. I played it. It's friggin' terrible. The only difference is that it just has um, a few extra characters. Yeah, and they took stuff out, too. I don't know about the rest of these chodes, but I like to sightsee a little bit, especially if I've never been there before. Oh, gee, I'm walking like Eric. Ooh. Eric really is rubbing me the wrong way. I don't think it's intentional, but he's definitely got my blood boiling. Like, I never heard that one. Oh my god, I'm short, guys. No, it's That's new to me. Dragon. It's not the short. I'm gonna be dragging these nuts on your face. <laughs> Saw a UFO on the way up here. I'm tired and I just don't want to put up with any shit right now. And he's pissing me off. Oh, and then we also had to sit at the border for like an hour because these two chuckleheads don't know how to behave like fucking adults. Can I get an honest opinion about something? This this hairy Mexican guy right here, do you think he's cute? Am I cute? Sure. Nice. <laughs> don't say <laughs> sure just to make him Say he's ugly. <laughs> Eric's just fucking like his See, ego is look, I'm fucking exotic up here. <laughs> I'm exotic up here. So after a day of pretty much futile game chasing, we get to the hotel and hook up with Keeb, the joking gamer. I am freaking stoked to meet Keeb. I've been waiting my whole entire life. Probably our only opportunity to ever meet the guy. Oh, we're guys, right. we're about to prank Norm right now. Keeb has become a really good friend of ours. We talk to him on Skype weekly for at least the last year. You're gonna be, you're gonna be on this bed. Norm's gonna walk in. Right? And he's gonna come and he'd keep. He's gonna walk in and he's gonna see you on the bed. Okay, that's, sure. that's it. If you don't want to trade some of this, let me know, but I'm gonna pile up the shit that I actually want. So even though we kind of struck out yesterday for the most part, it's all being made up here today with this trade that's about to go down. I came across a game that I knew Billy was looking for and I know Jay's gonna want the box and manual. Get out of here. What's wrong with the Mashin 2600? No, it's it's the fact that it's... Are you filming this? You want to hey, do that now? Hey, check it out. Climber 5. Atari age, 2004. This is a homebrew. Yeah. This, I would think, would be cool. Now, this trade was talked about weeks ago before we went to Con Bravo between me and Scott. I brought a bunch of doubles. I don't have any That's Atari actually games. pretty uncommon. I don't have any Atari games at all. Please tell me a manuals in this. The doubles that I had actually been holding out to give to Greg for his little Samson. But I don't need that one. Because Scott's hooking me up with a little Samson right here, right now. Ah! Ah! Little Samson! Little Samson! Little Samson! Little Samson! You know what, before you take ownership of this, I would ask the expert if it's trending up right now. Holy crap, I finally got little Samson. I guess everybody in the room except me is gonna have a Samson now, the way it looks. <laughs> I think you need to uh, let your viewers know how much it feels to uh, put that game behind you. I can finally stop crying about it. I, I've been crying about this game for literally, what is it, three years now. Ever since I gave it to Jay. And I can stop. Little Samson. Look this. <laughs> That's one you've actively wanted, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, when I was down in Texas with the guys, uh, Billy and I were both looking for Samson, and I actually was lucky enough to find a complete copy, but the box on the Samson was just a little roughed up, so I was on the hunt for a replacement or an upgrade, and I actually ran into another complete copy. I'm just gonna give one to my wife to play. She collects Game Boy. 
Oh my god, I actually need this. Like, I have the box and manual. That's awesome. No, I've been saving up some of my doubles to give to Greg for his little Samson, but Scott is just hooking me up big time on this one. I, I have to get his. He's. I've got a lot of games here that he really, really wants, so he's putting them in a lot higher value than Greg would, because Greg pretty much has everything. All this looks like it's about 385 in value. And you're giving me the game for what value? I'll do five. Five? So you just buy Portland, maybe? Just give me the other stuff when you find doubles and stuff? So. Where the hell is my Samson at? I swear, one of these days I'm gonna get Samson. No, you're not. I'm going to. You know, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of rare games on the NES that are just absolute crap. And people say, well, why would you still want to collect them? Samson is definitely not one of those games. It's one of the rare games that are actually really, really good. Ah! Ah! Actually, this is going to be normal. You have now. no trades? Why don't I trade it to you and you no, just no, do whatever hey, you hey, want to get it from the you your thing seriously. Are you guys no, no, I mean, I'd love to have it, but if this part of your trade, Sorry. I'm not going to interfere. We're using the, the app just to trade on even terms. So okay. whatever it says is so the all value. So all the inflated prices, they all even out. <laughs> right. They all even out. <laughs> they all even out in the day. Someone had a bad flight. You know what we could do? <laughs> you know what we should do is every time we say one of the prices, Pat can come in and be like, or. <laughs> so I'm getting the game, but Jay is actually getting the box. Basically, Scott has a, a second box and a second manual for this game because he wasn't happy with with the way his looked. Okay, so this is all yours now. He, he basically wanted a box upgrade. The box I'm getting is not in horrible shape, trust me. I appreciate it, Scott, thank you. What, what you appreciate more, Jay, is on I faith, do. I'm gonna give you this and just, just make it up later. Oh, wow. Box and manual, that's awesome. He definitely didn't bring uh, enough stuff to trade uh, so Jay's gonna go on a payment plan. Obviously I got the game already, so now I have a little Samson complete in box. Hopefully my great grandkids will uh, be able to settle this debt. I can't complain. Uh, I'll trade you. No, I'm good. You sure? I'm good. I'm I don't sure. want fun stones. I wasn't gonna trade you fun stones. Well, I didn't want it, so don't even say I... it. I'm giving him a couple of things too, like a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, a Super Mario RPG, some you know rare high dollar stuff and some common stuff that he needed. You know, I'm honestly not trying to kill them on this. Um, I really just want to get back what I invested. Little Samson was released in 1992 by Tato and or Takuru, or Takuru. You know what? I, I can't review games. Let me just put on somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Gameplay is one of the game's strong points. It's a platformer, and a really good one at that. There's plenty of jumping, climbing, shooting, punching, and flying. Levels aren't memorable, but are fun to navigate through. The controls are extremely tight and responsive, and makes the challenge more about skill than bad design or control. The graphics are some of the best on the system. So why did this game completely flop? Sales were extremely low, and many people aren't even aware this game exists. Well, problem number one was Taito released Little Samson at the end of the system's life. Second of all, there is little to no advertising or press for this game. Taito has published a few other hard-to-find games, including Panic Restaurant and The Flintstones, Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. If you're able to find a copy of Little Samson, congratulations! You have one of the rarest and best games on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oil up and hit the gym with me. You said because I, I had the Mario Golf, you're going to throw in... This is way, you look it up, it's way more than Mario Oh, I know it is. I don't and need to look it up. it's a freaking good game. Uncommon. Uncommon game. That game is nutty. It's not as exciting as going to a flea market and finding it for $10, but in reality, this was the only way I was ever going to get a Samson. I would f a horse for a Samson. <laughs> like legit? Legit. Not a horse banging me, though. I'll bang the horse. Eric now owns another $5 game, Donkey Kong 3. Even though it says 25 on the app. <laughs> no, I know. You didn't catch him slipping, he's being nice. I'm catching Billy slipping. That, that, you don't have that? No. Oh, I almost forgot. There was something else that happened yesterday. Eric got a game. Two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this tossy. <laughs> this is the picture tossy contest, guys.
Yes. <laughs> I'm game hungry, and I'll do anything for a game. I will lick Keem's nipple for, You're okay with this? for one of the games that's not, yeah. that I don't have that's in that box. There's some good games in there, too. Okay, it has to be a dog. 1943. I will lick it for 19... All yours, you can have it. I don't know. I don't think I can. No, I didn't. Oh, I looked at his nipple and I couldn't do it. Keeb's not gonna call me out. That Keeb's uh, nipple lip. I can't do it. Do it, do it. Dude, his armpit fucking stinks. <laughs> do it. I'm kind of like, can just go? Like that? Dude, yeah. you gotta leave you the gotta, You gotta at least wait for the flash. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> You're gonna put it on Facebook. I can't put it on Facebook. <laughs> I, I this shows it. up anywhere on Facebook. Eric, Come on. Eric, man up. Come on. Eric, man up, do Come it. Come on. Man up. What are y'all gonna do? Do Not it. that. <laughs> we can do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's make some game chasing history. Come on, Eric. <laughs> Which game? 1943. 1943. 1943, that's what I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, you <laughs> I can't believe you actually did it. Oh. It's not the first nipple I ever licked. It's the first little person's nipple I've ever licked. Oh my god, I gotta fucking clean my fucking mouth, dude. That was fucking <laughs> gross. <laughs> it was... it was weird. <laughs> weird, but it was kind of a funny prank. I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> yes! Yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! <laughs> <laughs> Do that again, please, God, do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Eric, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Dude, just thinking about just thinking about his little nipple with a fing armpit something I would have let keep for panic restaurant. Eric, here is your well-deserved reward. Pause the camera. But hey, I got a game out of it. Granted, it's only 1943, which I don't have, and I needed, so. Yeah, it's not rare, but hey. The only reason I did it is because Keep goes, do it, you bitch. I'm like, well, come on and do it, you freaking chicken. <laughs> Dude, oh god. Dude, that was so gross. Look at that little nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Not only will I be known as a guy who slips, but as a guy who licks. <laughs> Eric's such a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> it was hilarious. Come <laughs> <laughs> over the gym with me. What's going on? <laughs> at least for his rest. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I was just having a gay old time. I was a Genesis guy, you fucking chode. God damn, quit like fucking saying hey, that. You don't like hey, Tiger Hell is the best shooter hey, on Nintendo. Hey, you don't like, I love that you game. Don't like Battletoads, and you fucking still have for me. No, I've yeah. only been in Canada for two days now, and it's been pretty crazy. There's no telling what the rest of the weekend's gonna be like. I'll bang the horse. Hey everybody, if you're new to the channel and you're new to the show, and you liked what you saw just now. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you up to date on all the releases so you'll never miss them. Down here below, just click this little box down here. And if you liked it, be sure to hit the little like button too. It helps out a lot. So thanks a lot and hope to see you around soon. We didn't catch him slipping. He's being nice. I'm catching Billy slipping. Yeah, you don't have that? No. Hey. Oh, oh. You still don't have it, do you? I think I do. Hey, think comments do, below, actually. guys. Comments. Slip in, slip in, slip in. I should just. <laughs> Dude. Slip in, slip in. Loop it. Slip in. Dude, loop that for 10 hours and post it. <laughs> Seriously. Slip in, slip in, slip in. <laughs> comments. Slip in, slip in, slip in, slip in. Slip in.
slip in, 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 slip in.